this particular part of the training, we're going to create you know, a new project, a uh, Java project with Selenium in um, TestNG and also with Cucumber. So that's what we're going to go through uh, right now. So, okay. So for, to create a new project, if you're on this splash screen, you just need to create, cl click on the create new project, or you would have to go and click on file and new. So I'll go through it in this later part of this project. So when I go through this step one after the other, so I'm going to go through this slide right now to show you what you need to do. We can as well go along, but later I'll open this particular for floor so we can do it together like on a workflow or workshop, brother. So then when you click on create new project, you would see this screen. And this screen, because we're going to be using Maven, right? So, and we got our Maven already configured. So you're going to select Maven as your type. So when you select Maven as your type, I would advise you leave the create from archetype as blank. You don't need to check that. You, you leave it unchecked and you click on next. So when you click on next, you will see this particular page. So after you see this page uh, or this particular window, you would now need to enter your group ID. I've already filled in this particular example to say, oh, your, my group ID is uh, com.gifrit.test, basically. is in literally, you are saying test.gifrit.com. That's what people are used to. But in Java, you kind of write it from uh, left to to right. So then you fill your Actified ID. So our advice is you, flip, you can put in anything that you want to call your project. So I've already called, I said mine will be UI test. So then I would advise you just leave the version as it is as on as default right now. So the inheritance, the, you leave uh, this also as default. So the next thing, thing that you need to do is to click on the next button. So when you click on the next button, this window appears for you. So, and it's by default, it's got your project name. You don't need to do anything on that. So what you need to do is to go specify your the right location. I don't want to put it in the location that he proposed for me before, so I just want to change it to this location. So you specify the location. You just need to click on the three dots and specify the location that you want. So then after that, you click on finish. So it would Sometimes, like I said, you have this pop-up for your tip of the day, so, and you, you can just close that one. So then you have your POM displayed. This is my POM. I'll quickly explain what you have. As you can see, the group ID is what I specify in that particular uh, window, com.gifrit.test, and my artifact ID is also displayed as UI test and then my version is displayed. So this is kind of my POM, it's called a POM, and it's like a XMFI actually, so which is being displayed, UI test, so it's an XMFI and the project, the start of the project and the end of the project. What you have inside is what I have already entered in my previous uh, screen that takes me here. So we're going to update this POM file later so I'll tell you what you need to put in there. But right now, we're going to carry, we're going to continue to see what we need to do next. So expand the project structure. And you will see under the SRC, you will see test, and you will see Java. Then we are meant to create our package. We're going to create even not one package, actually two packages with binding and runner. So this is what you need to do, right click on the Java project on that test and then add a new package. So this is what you're going to do. So on when you expand, you will see this particular uh, screen 
as it is. You have your SLC. This is my project, actually. So you are a test class. And I have idea to that's what it actually, you know, that one we store in IntelliJ files. So my project will be stored in my SRC on location. But there's also a main folder. I'm not going to use a main folder. That's why the developer are going to be putting their codes. So I will be putting my code in the test folder as it is right now. So I will expand that test folder. When I expand it, expand that folder, you will see a Java um, folder there, Java. So you would then right click. When you right click, you click on new, and then you select um, package. So when you select package, then you also you put the binding. You call that particular package binding. So then the next thing that you need to do is add, okay, you still need to add the run, runner also. The same process you need to do, right click on the Java, then new, and the package, then you call it runners. So then the next thing that you need to do is to right click on the test folder and create a new directory. So when you create a new directory, you call that directory resources, so, and then, and you mark that directory as your test resource root. So I'll just quickly show you that. So on the test folder, you right click and you click on new and then you click on directory. So when you click on, on directory, you go and then you enter the directory where I said is resources. So on that, you have the resources created. After you've created the resources, what do you need to do? You right click on that resources, then you make that resource your test root. So it's very, very important because that's where all your other um, test resource that you're going to be creating are going to be living. So that's what you need to do. So the next, you should, should have something like this right now. You should have something like this. So the next step for you now is to get your POM. This is very, very important, actually. So you get your POM. We're going to, I'm going to send one out right now in a minute for you to see. So it's going to, I'm going to send this out. So this is kind of an example of a POM. You're going to have different things your runner, your Java, and everything. So, so I'm going to. So you have something like like this. So I will send the POM for for that to you, and you can push them. So the next step also, you as you can see, even a oh, minute. Yeah, as you can see, this is a good example. When you copy your pawn. It's possible that you will have some red, red dots, as in that this particular version is not correct, or you need to update the version because every time there is new version coming in. So what you need to do is you need to make sure you update your POM so that the latest version is updated. So it's very, very important to do that. So let me... So then, we're going to, yeah, so what you need to do is on here, in some cases, I, I will go through that, oh, sorry, I'll go through that on the project. This particular Maven screen sometimes will be in this particular tab. You might need to click on, on that tab for this to be expanded if it's not expanded. When it's expanded, you need to right click on the Maven uh, stage. So like for instance, I've got UI test, I just right click on that and I can say re-import. That will re-import all my uh, artifacts for me. So when that is imported, you should be able to see everything becoming um, not, not red actually. So everything is kind of updated. 
So then the that's I think for now I will stop at this level so before we start to create feature files to see if there's any issues then we know that we are good. So one minute. All right, to start, I'll click on new, new project. So as you can see, I've got my Maven, yeah. So one minute, I just want to, so that people are not confused. So you may not see this when you are on your screen. So then you click on Maven and then you should yeah okay there's a question coming in okay one minute let me just quickly do this alright so then the next step I said you should need to leave the create uh, archetype as plan as unchecked so and you click on next then your group ID I said com dot gift read dot test that's what I want then this is my UI test too and I leave my version as it is click on next and I've got this so it's going to start at this location I'm okay with that so I can click on finish so because I've got one of the page window open before so it's going to ask, ask me if I want it on this window so I say yes So now, if you expand your folders, you would see this. Then I said you would need to create a new folder package. So just to be consistent, I'm going to bring the uh, slide up. So I say you should call that. Okay, even before then, uh, you should call this one resources. Sorry, one minute. Okay, so first thing, this is actually got these bindings and also another one another package call it runners okay then also I also propose that you should also put this at one side and put this on the other side, it's going to G. So, and I said you would then need to create a new one called runner, okay, which I've done. And the next step for those guys that want to follow what I am also doing. So the next step is for you to now right click on your test folder and then create a new directory. So if you right click on the test new and directory and you call that resources
and you click OK and you make that resource your test route. You right click and you go to make directory as test resources and then you go to that. That uh, is now your test resources. Then I think I've been able to cover that one. That is done, that is done, it's done. So the next is now your pawn. So I'm going to copy that pawn and I'll send this to everyone. So, but okay, before I do that, actually, so I'm going to copy the pawn I copied. Don't actually doesn't have the project and doesn't have the group ID. So I'm going to copy and paste my pawn in this particular location. So after the call, I'm going to send a full pawn to you. If you call, if you follow the process, you should have the same um, group ID and Actifa. So I'm going to send it to you so that even you can replace it completely with what with what you have on your pawn on file. So but ever I'm sending this across. Like I said, I'm going to send this pawn out for you to to use. I will put it on the on the website also so that you can copy the pawn and then you can use it. One or a quick explanation on what you have in your pawn. So you have your group ID, so which is coming from you, the window that we did before your ID, and you have your artifact ID so there. Your properties. So in this property is only showing how my text is going to look like. So it's going to use UTF-8 actually. So that might be changed based on what you have. So it's your source encoding. So the most important part that you need to look into is my dependencies. If I collapse those ones and I collapse my build. So yeah. So now as you can see, these are different sections I have. So after the SMR I have my projects, it's end project and end of the projects. Then I've got the properties which I've quickly explained. Then the next one is my dependencies. So this is now very, very important. In the dependencies, which is for all the C sharp guys that we did last time, basically this is what is similar to your Nugget packages. So what are the dependencies that you need to install or to add to your project? That's what you need to put in there. For instance, if I only need test ng, I would remove the other dependencies because I don't need them. I would only have test ng. But because we're going to use all those areas, so we're going to say, oh, I need um, group ID for test, I need test ng. This is what we're going to use. Test ng is very good for reporting, right? It's very good for reporting. So we're going to be using test ng reporting at the later part of the, of the training. So we need test ng. Of course, we know most of us are here because we want to know about Selenium. So, and we need Selenium. That's the group ID for Selenium. And the version that we are using is 3.11. So as this one increases, you need to also update your pawn to the latest version. So then also, we need to use Java for Kikimba. So, and we already have the version that we want to use. So, and he's saying that is, you know, I think this is already commented, so we don't need this one, to be honest. So, and the scope, so that we can remove that. So then also, we need ja uh, Kikimba JVM as a dependent also, which is, and the version that we are using is 1.0.5. Then, Kikimba with test ng dependencies is another thing that is needed. And uh, also, in the compile scope, the also you would also have with exclusion of J unit anyway, so it doesn't use J unit with it. So that so and the master torch for Kikumba reporting. The as you can see, these are the um, dependencies that we need. So Kikumba reporting, we need that to have a good reporting too. Then also Selenium Java, you know, Kikumba Java, Kikumba JVM and Kikumba with test ng. That, those are the things that are needed. Then also we 
go into the build. So in the build session, you will now actually have a configuration how your build should be set up. This is you don't you don't need to do much on this one, right? So we're going to go through this uh, next week when we start writing the automation scripts. Actually, when we start writing automation scripts, and because you might have to change some part of this particular session, so as in your project name and your runner ID and everything. So we just need to know. But this one is basically to know that you already set up your environment and you're able to right click here and say import and everything is fine. You don't have any rights. So and that's where we're going to stop today. So so that we have our environment set up. From next week we're going to be creating the feature file, the step definition and then off we go. That's the beginning of the practical. So what we've done for the last two weeks is basically set up. And um, this is the final part of the setup. From next week, it's going to be interesting. So it's going to be like you know, now we need to actually write a code actually for the feature file and also for the step definition. And hopefully we should be able to click a website next week. So that's what we're going to where we're going to stop today. Any questions?